It's like raining like black snow and then it starts pooping. There's literal lemur <laughs> raining from the ceiling. Of course, this would happen on my ship. This was Black Friday in 2018 and I worked in the computers department and I see like a bunch of employees are all gathered around and I'm like, what's going on? And the first thing I see is there's this couple. This guy looked like he was straight out of Jersey Shore, five foot four, all roided out, spray tan, the whole like poly D spiked hair look and his girlfriend like, you know, blonde, 5'10". And right as I walk over on top of like our big Apple display is a lemur that goes like skittering across. Like I'm talking like, straight out of Madagascar, Zabumafu, like a ringtail lemur. And this thing is like a pink harness and a leash on. So this guy brought this thing in to a Best Buy on Black Friday as a pet. And of course, being a lemur, it decided to just run straight up this one pole that runs from where the registers are all the way up into the ceiling. Mind you, this lemur now has a harness and a leash on. So it's running around in the rafters where there's all these like metal cross hatching beams and the leash is getting like wrapped around stuff. Oh my God, this thing's gonna get caught and it's gonna like hang itself in the rafters. The guy is like trying to coax it down like it's a dog. He's like, come on, come on, come down. I'm like, dude, this thing doesn't know what you're telling it. The lemur is knocking down like all of this black dust that I'm sure has been accumulating since the store was built and then it starts pooping. There's literal lemur <laughs> raining from the ceiling and just plop 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 of lemur crap like landing on like the screens of the register and you can hear it like as it hits because it's falling from like 40 feet in the air. I'm just standing there thinking like what the hell. They can't get this thing down. We had like one manager left on duty so she calls our head store manager. He told her to call the fire department. So she calls the fire department then they told her that she needed to call animal control and they said that they couldn't send anybody out until the morning. At this point I was just so burnt out from the day. I had to be back by like 8 in the morning for the next shift. I'm like, this isn't my problem, I'm leaving. Come to find out that it did actually make its way down by like 11, 11.30, didn't get hurt. I guess they banned both of them from the store. It was pretty crazy. I guess another day working in retail. I had a customer come in and he told me that he had purchased $50 worth of minutes on his Boost phone and they never went to his phone. I checked the system. I told him, I'm sorry, unfortunately, there's no proof that you purchased these minutes. And he went scary crazy. He took his phone and he started smashing it on top of his head, screaming, you owe me the minutes, you owe me the minutes, you owe me the minutes. I'm standing there like, oh my God, what is this guy doing? And then he took the phone, broke it in half, threw it at me across the counter. My manager finally decided to call the cops and he was escorted out. <laughs> The most memorable Black Friday story had to be about five years ago. It was about 2015. It was in Brooklyn, New York. And I can tell you it was freezing outside. It was brick, y'all. And all I can remember is walking about two hours in before the store opening and I could see a long line around the block. I noticed there was a woman who appeared to be pregnant. And I was thinking, mm, I've seen fights, I've seen stampedes, I've seen people pulling each other's hair over a TV. This probably isn't the most safe environment for her to be in, but hey, to eat his own. So I press on and I go into the store. Sure enough, two hours later, they allow everybody to walk into the store. Someone jumping on the loudspeaker and saying, emergency in aisle five, clean up emergency in aisle five. I was curious to see why. Ran over to aisle five and lo and behold, it's the pregnant woman from outside. She's in full on labor. I was like, this is not happening right now. All you see is water everywhere from her water breaking. Police sirens is outside, the ambulance is rushing in. I just remember her telling her husband, let me go without just get the TV, get the TV. And I was just like, oh boy, I hope she doesn't name her child Samsung or Target. 